Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, good day again everyone. Um, today, we will be learning about the remainder theorem. Okay po. So, remainder theorem, basically, um, it's a theorem or a um, method in mathematics that we use to be able to determine quickly what is the remainder of our given. Okay po. Um, basically, may ganito po tayong structure. And the proof will start from here po. The proof will start from here actually. Okay? Pero yun, we will not prove it. We will go directly to the theorem itself. So, just explaining this one. Ganto po yung um, ganto yung nangyayari dyan. We have of course our f of x. Which is of course our given um, equation or expression. Say, meron tayong 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. Oops, oh, sorry. Plus 6. And we are dividing it by a certain binomial. Say, um x minus 4. Okay? So, if we divide that, magkakaroon daw tayo ng a quotient and also magkakaroon tayo ng remainder. Okay po? We have the quotient and then plus the remainder. So, what the remainder theorem um, says is that if we substitute f of a, then we will immediately arrive with our remainder. So, again, if we substitute f of a, Meaning, if we, if we get the value of x here, okay po, equate to th it to 0, and then we substitute it to the given function, then we will arrive with the remainder immediately. So, basically, it goes like this po. Okay po? So, the first thing that you have to do is, of course, meron na tayong given. So, of course, this 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by x minus 4. So, the very first thing that you have to do po is you have to get or equate our divisor to 0 and of course get the value of that given okay, po. the next thing that you have to do is you have to get the f of a of our given which is of course sorry f of x na lang, f of x of our given which is of course 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 and our x value is of course 4 so basically again what you do is you substitute 4 to every given value in our given. I'm oh, sorry, it's not supposed to do that. So, meaning we have to substitute every given value of 4 to all the x's in our um, equation. So, having this, we have 4 squared. The answer is 16. 16 times, sorry. So, it's automatically. Yeah. Okay, so we have 5 times 4 and then we have plus 6. 2 times 16, the answer is 32. Plus 5 times 4 is um, 20. Plus 6 and giving us an answer of um, 52 plus 6, the answer is 58. So the remainder for our given is just simply 58. Okay po? So yan kasi, take note ito. Bakit naging R yan? Kasi this is our um, equation po or our um, guide. Okay po? So, we have r is equal to 58. So, how are we so sure na ito talaga yung magiging sagot niyan? That this is the remainder for that given. So, we actually will use this. Um, we will use the synthetic division to determine whether if we are correct or not. Okay po? Synthetic division, this is 4. And we will have 2, 5, and 6. Then, we will divide, bring down, multiply. Um, this is uh, 8, I guess. And then, add 5 times uh, 8. The answer is 40. Am I correct? Wait lang. 42. 5 times 8. 40, yes. 40 times 4. Maybe we have some um, inconsistencies in our solution. Let's double check. Po. So, 2, 5, 6. 2, 5, 6. 4 squared is 16, correct, times 2, the answer is 32, correct, 5 times 4, the answer is 20, and then we have 6, and then we substitute um, 32 plus 20 plus 6, the answer is 58, okay, correct. So, ang ating ruling for our synthetic division is we bring down, multiply, ah, so it's add pala, sorry, so this is 8, and then we add, 5 plus 8, the answer is 13. Then we multiply again by 4, the answer is um, 13 times 4, the answer is 52. And then 52 plus 6 is 58. 
So therefore, again, the last digit will always be a remainder. Then if 58 is a remainder here in the synthetic division, then of course in our um, call this in our remainder theorem, the answer would still be the same. If they're the same, then therefore our theorem is correct. Okay, po. So again, our remainder is 58. So again, in our um, remainder theorem, what we do, let's just go to another side and then maybe let's provide another example. Okay. Say we have x raised to 6 plus 5x raised to 5. I'll just move a little bit. And then we have um, plus 5x raised to 4 plus 5x cubed plus 2x squared minus 10x minus 8. Okay. And we are dividing this even by um, let's divide it by x plus 4 still okay uh, x plus 4 naman so meaning again solving for x here this would become x is equal to negative 4 and then again in our given dapat magkakaroon tayo ng f of 4 f of negative 4 nung ating given equation which is this one so all the values of x there would become negative 4 base to 6 plus negative 4 raised to 5 plus 5 negative 4 plus 5 negative 4 now this is cube sorry I think I exceeded the numbers of 5 we have 5 raised to 5 we have okay cube. raised to 4 sorry this is raised to 4 and this is raised to 3 then we have plus 2 um, negative 4 squared let me just uh, zoom out a little bit then we have minus 10 times negative 4 minus 8. Okay po. So evaluating that manual, uh, manually po. Um, sorry for a while. Okay, so if we have 4 face to 6, the answer is 4096 plus 4 raised to 5 times 5, of course, it's my negative. It's negative again. 5120 then we have 4 raised to 4 times 5 it's plus 1280 ito magiging minus yan for sure so ito bagoy na natin let's make this as minus so, and then this one evaluating this one naman um, medyo nakatapat naman siya so para hindi kayo malito masyado so minus 320 then this one um, it's plus again so plus 2 um, 4 raised to 4 sorry 4 squared times 2 the answer is plus 32 plus 40 minus 8 so let's try to subtract these things po. so we will have um, 4096 minus so ito ay ano yeah, baka malito tayo minus 5120 plus 1280 minus 320 plus 32 plus 40 minus 8 giving an, us an answer of oops, sorry, of 0 okay so meaning our remainder is equals to 0 okay pa so that is how you use the remainder theorem later on you will um have an idea ano ba yung purpose ng remainder theorem okay pa so but it's the purpose of remainder theorem so that would be it everyone so i do hope that you understood the remainder theorem is quite easy lang substitution lang po and evaluation po order of operation actually okay so um thank you for listening everyone and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh